Let's talk about the distance between two vectors and the concept of norm from our previous video will be helpful here. First, let me just draw kind of a little cartoon, a little picture. This is simple here because I've done it in 2D, but this concept applies to any dimensional uh, vector that you're working with. So here in the 2D plane, I've drawn the point V. So there's the point V, you know, where V is, that vector V in 2D space. There is the vector U, the point U in 2D space. I could have drawn a point from the origin out to V and a point from the origin out to U, right? And that would be you know, the vector representation of those points, but I'm just drawing kind of their endpoints right now. And then what do I mean about the distance between them? Well, we're talking about that distance right there. How far away is U from V if I draw a line from U to V, or similarly, if I draw a line from V to U? So really what we're talking about is the length of that vector connecting these two points. So how long is that vector? Well, we can compute the length of the vector using norm, right? Also, I know how to write down this vector between u and v. I can either take v minus u or u minus v, you know, depending on which direction I want to go, but that's easy to write down. It's just the subtraction of those two vectors tells me what that vector is, and then I can compute the length of it. So in terms of notation, sometimes we write this, we talk about the distance between u and v, but really all it is, is the length of the vector u minus v. That's all it is. It's just the length of that vector. And we know how to compute the lengths of vectors. We use the norm operation. So I can compute the norm of the vector u minus v. That's just take every element of this vector and square it, add them all up, and then take the square root. So the first element of the vector u minus v is u1 minus v1. The second element of this vector is u2 minus v2, right? Just all the way down. And I square each one of these differences. Obviously right here, whether I take u1 minus v1 or v1 minus u1, the order doesn't matter because I'm squaring it. Normally the order matters a lot for subtraction, right? But because each one of these quantities is squared, the order doesn't matter, so I can flip-flop each one of these, and instead of having u's minus v's, I can write v's minus u's. And now guess what this looks like? This now looks like the norm of v minus u. So back to what I was saying, whether I go this direction or this direction, the length of that vector has the exact same length. So the distance between u and v, which we wrote as the norm of u minus v is exactly the same as the norm of v minus u, which we would write as the distance between v and u. So not too surprising there, distance doesn't matter when you're talking about distance between two points at all. Whether you reference the first point or the second point, the distance is always the same. Let's do a little example. Let's pick some vectors from you know three-dimensional space. u is 1, 3, 5 v is 0, negative 1, 2, and let's compute how far apart are these two points in three-dimensional space. So what's the distance between u and v? Well, that's just the norm of u minus v, which is equal to, so now I'm just going to do component-wide subtraction, 1 minus 0 is 1, and 1 squared, we'll square here in a minute, 3 minus a negative 1 is 4, and then 5 minus 2 is 3, so that right there is the vector u minus v. And now let's compute the norm of that just by root sum squaring each term. So square root of 1 squared plus 4 squared plus 3 squared. That is equal to 1 plus 16 plus 9, which gives me 26. So these are points or vectors whose distance between them is root 26. So nothing too profound here, just talking about the distance between two points. It's helpful to frame it in terms of this notation if you want, or in terms of norms. And we're going to use this notation some in the next video when we talk about orthogonal vectors. So being familiar with this notation is helpful. So let's talk about orthogonal vectors in the next video.